Kyokushin Karate was founded by Masutatsu Oyama. In today's video, we are going to get into a little bit of the history from the 1950s and 1960s of Sosei Masutatsu Oyama's karate journey and the origins of Kyokushin Kai Karate. Masutatsu Oyama was more commonly known as Masoyama. He was a karate master and founded Kyokushin Karate in 1964, which is a style of stand-up karate and was considered one of the first and most influential styles of full contact karate. Kyokushin Kai is Japanese for the ultimate truth. This karate style is rooted in a philosophy of self-improvement, discipline and hard training. In April of 1952, Masayama and Kokichi Endo, who was a Japanese judoka practitioner and a professional wrestler, flew into Chicago to begin a tour of America pro wrestling circuit. Masayama displayed the art of karate for an entire year in the USA, and you can say that this is the start of Masayama becoming a legend as an undefeated fighter who traveled the world facing many challenges to test the power of his karate. These demonstrations were seen by many people in the US and also heard of and watched internationally. Over the years to follow, Sosei Masayama participated in matches against boxers, wrestlers and anyone who would accept the challenge. In its all, Sosei Masayama fought 270 challengers, defeating every one of them. The majority of the matches ended up in a win with one punch. Never did a fight last more than three minutes, and rarely did it take more than a few seconds for Sosei Masayama to crush his opponent. His fighting principle was very simple. If he got through to you, that was it. In 1953, Masutatsu Yama opened his own independent karate dojo on a grass lot in Majiro, Tokyo, named Oyama Dojo, which then was a form of Goju Ryu. The beginning of the Oyama Karate School was made, with the opening of the Oyama Dojo in a former ballet studio behind Rikyo University in 1956. 500 meters from the location where the actual Japanese Hombu Dojo headquarters would take its roots and begin to grow the style of Kyokushin Kai Karate into a widespread international organization. Within a short time span, the membership of Sosai Masayama Karate Organization grew to about 300 and then to 700 practitioners within a year. Students and instructors from other styles heard of Masayama's karate school and came to train with him for his Jisen Kumite, which is full contact fighting. At the same time, Masayama continued to travel around Japan and the world, giving martial arts demonstrations which included kumite matches, breaking exhibitions, and knocking live bulls unconscious with his bare hands, sometimes grabbing them by the horn and snapping the horn off. There are many stories written about these exhibitions with different points of views on the matter. As we mentioned earlier, in 1956, Masayama was able to secure a location for his first indoor dojo into a former ballet school behind Rikyu University and thus started the process towards developing the Kyokushin Kai organization. Shihandai Kenzi Mitsushima was the chief instructor. Some of the other senior instructors under him were Tadashi Nakamura, Yasuda, Ishibashi, and Minami Moto. And back then, the training was very hard and rigorous, which is the case in some Kyokushin Karate dojos around the world, even in the present day. Masutatsu Oyama's karate was and is known as having a tough training regime. And the students that practice the style 
or taken to one's limits and beyond, which helps build one's character. Masayama's own curricula soon developed a reputation as a tough, intense, hard-hitting, but practical style, which was finally named Kyokushinkai, Japan Karate Do Kyokushinkai. He also developed a reputation for being rough with his students as the training sessions were grueling and students injuring themselves in practice, fighting kumite was quite common. Along with the practice of fighting, what distinguished Masayama's teaching style from the other karate school back then was the emphasis on breaking objects such as boards, tiles or bricks to measure one's offensive ability. These together became Kyokushin's trademarks. Masayama believed in the practical application of karate and declared that ignoring breaking practice is no more useful than a fruit tree that bears no fruit. As the reputation of the dojo grew, students were attracted to come to train there from inside and outside Japan and the numbers of students grew very fast. Many of the eventual senior leaders of today's various Kyokushin-based organizations began training with Sosai Masayama in the style during this time. In February 1957, the dojo became independent from Gojukai and became Japan Karate to Kyokushin Kai. And fast forward to 1964, Sosai Masayama moved the dojo into the building that would from then on serve as the Kyokushin Home Dojo and World headquarters. In connection with that, he also formally founded the international karate organization Kyokushin Kaikan, commonly abbreviated to IKO or IKOK to organize the many schools that were by then teaching the Kyokushin style. After the passing of Sosai Masayama, the IKO organization was divided into fractions and named IKO 1, IKO 2, and so on. Back to 1961, at the All Japan Open Karate Championship, one of Oyama's students, Tadashi Nakamura, at 19 years old, made his first tournament appearance where he was placed first. Nakamura later became Masayama's chief instructor as referenced in Masayama's book, This is Karate, in 1969. Masayama staged the first All Japan Full Contact Karate Open Championship, which took Japan by storm and Terutomo Yamazaki became the first champion. This tournament was held every year since. In 1975, the first World Full Contact Karate Open Championship were held in Tokyo. World Championships have been held at four years interval since. After formally establishing Kyokushin Kai, Masayama directed the organization through a period of expansion. His staff of hand-picked instructors displayed great ability in marketing the style and gaining new members in Japan and also internationally. Masoyama would choose an instructor to open a dojo in another town or city in Japan, whereupon the instructor would move to that town and typically demonstrate his karate skills in public places, such as the civic gymnasium, the local police gym, where many judo students would practice, a local park or conduct martial arts demonstrations at local festivals or school events. In this way, the instructor would soon gain a few students for his new dojo. After that, word of mouth would spread through the local area until the dojo had a dedicated core of students. Masayama also sent instructors to other countries such as the United States, Netherlands, England, Australia and Brazil to spread Kyokushin in the same way. At the same time, Sosai Masayama also promoted Kyokushin by holding the All Japan Full Kante Karate Open Championship every year. And the World Full Kante Karate Open Championships once every four years in which anyone could enter from any style. He built his Tokyo-based international karate organization Kyokushin Kaikan into one of the world's foremost martial art associations which branches in more than a hundred countries with over 12 million registered members. In Japan, books were written by and about him. Feature-length films splashed his life across the big screen and even comic books recounted his many feats. 
Sosei Masayama founded Kyokushin Kai Karate and left us with one of the greatest, strongest full contact karate styles that is still practiced today by millions of practitioners worldwide. Kyokushin Karate today, even though splinter into many factions, continue to be recognized as one of the strongest styles of karate. Us. Thank you for watching, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys on the next video. Arigato.